dad was right there at the birth of Street Style. His skateboarding abilities were extraordinary. He's been loyal to the brands that he rides for through thick and thin, through trends going up and down. And to me, that's like a true professional. After the half cab, about a year later in 93, I started designing my own shoes for vans. So the half cab kind of went back and was kind of a sleeper in the line. It was still a, a classic, but it wasn't promoted or advertised. We were going into that puffy, sporty look, and that's where they reeled it back in and said, hey, let's get back to the core of what Vans started out. It's an icon of skate footwear, and when the going gets tough, they revert back to the half cab and they revert back to the Caballeros because it's tried, trusted, true. It's a great skate shoe. If you know you make a good product, stick to it and never change, regardless of what the trends do. A good product will always circle back, and, and obviously that's what's happened with the half cap. I think the half cap is the number one ripped off shoe in skateboarding. And I think that's also an amazing thing, and also what maybe keeps it so core. It is kind of still the one shoe that you would see on someone and be like, oh, you skate? You know, like you would think that. It's probably my favorite shoe because mostly how it looked, how it skated, how it looked in footage, which is like, sometimes I'll really like a shoe and then I'll see it in footage and I'm like, oh, that's not the same. At some point, it had this like crazy rebirth where that's what everybody wanted. And if you didn't write for Vans, you'd get your shoe company to make you one. The cab's shoe is so beyond that, like, I, I mean, if I were him, I wouldn't really care. It's like, none of these shoes will ever come close. The design of it isn't changed over time. You know, it's the same shoe, and when you put it on, it feels the same. Unless there's something that really changes with skateboarding, that shoe's always going to be relevant. Half yeah. again. a lot of my high top shoes into mids. I feel like it's just one of those ones that they kind of just nailed it. The silhouette, the style. Lately it's been like my favorite shoe to skate in, just with all these new colorways that are coming out, all these like really classic looking ones. You kind of see every kind of skater wearing them. The Manny person and this is the stair set skater, and this is the like vert skater, and like they'll all be switching through half cabs. Very little kind of improvements you can do on it. When you have that, there's a lifespan that comes with that. They're gonna be around. They're just foundations. I feel like skaters love that whole like DIY, whether it's like to their clothes or like to spots, just because you can just make it your own, make it comfortable for you. It, it's something when they told you, hey, uh, we didn't want a high top. We wanted to cut it down. They're the ones that, uh, you know, when Checkerboard came out, it wasn't us that came up with Checkerboard, it's people. You.
be progressing and still pushing and still have the fire and still enjoying it, it's a testament to why he's worthy to have such, a, such an important shoe. It is still the one shoe that skaters wear. Maybe that has something to do with its longevity. Skateboarders appreciate it so much. It can be like 90s footage filmed in half cabs, or it can be like this 2022 edit <laughs> and it's in half cabs, and you're like, they work throughout the different like trends and eras. So that means that like doing something right. There's some timelines going on in skating that will never be repeated again. If you have a groundbreaking maneuver, you have an incredible pro skater, and you have this shoe that stands the test of time. Some might say this is luck, but I don't think so. This is the power of Steve Caballero, my friend.